camp has officially returned to NBA 2K24, and I'm going to be explaining exactly how you and your friends can win this event and get your unlimited boosts, and also what the best builds are to make for your position. What's good YouTube, it's Iso Ninja back here with another banger on the channel and today I'm going to be giving some insider tips and tricks on how to win the boot camp event in NBA 2K24. Side note, can we respect how quick I got this video out for you guys? Like, comment, and subscribe and let's cut out all the nonsense and get straight into this video. Quick little description if you do not know what boot camp is. Boot camp is a four hour event that consists of 75 overalls and under where you are all competing for unlimited playmaking boosts on a top five leaderboard. In my opinion, it is pretty easy to win. All you need is just a good squad. If you don't come top five, there are some pretty good participation rewards such as Gatorade boosts, skill boosts, banners, and a lot more. This event is also double rep. So even if you aren't playing to win for the boosts, you can farm a lot of double rep since there are seven servers. The first and arguably most important part going into this event is making sure that you have the right lineup and to make sure that your build is straight. I believe that the best lineup to go with in this event is a point guard, lockdown, and a break starter, and I'll explain later in this video why this is very important. So starting off, if you are a point guard, this is the first build that you are going to want to make. It is a 6 foot 6 3 point shot hunter with a 92 3 ball so you can constantly shoot threes and get out of games. 92 ball handle and 83 speed with ball so you can get yourself open on the PNR and the physicals you got at 86 speed, 73 excel, and 99 stamina. This build is basically just a lower overall version of any 6 foot 6 stripe shooting shot creator build that you see on NBA 2K24. Trust me, I crafted a lot of different 75 overall builds and this is the best one that you can make. For all the lock Lockdowns, you want to make this small forward 6 foot 7, 233 pound, 7 4 wingspan lock. For your defense, put your perimeter defense and steal to a 99, upgrade your perimeter to 94 and steal to 91. Put your offensive rebound to a 72 and upgrade it to a 67. Physicals, you want to max them all out beside your vertical. 85 speed, 77 excel, 90 strength, 63 vert, and 99 stamina. Shooting, go ahead and put your 3 point rating to a 78 and upgrade it all the way. Finally, standing dunk, make it a 92 and upgrade it to a 85. This build is insane for a 75 overall. You literally have all the stats you need to lock everyone up and get stops for your team. For this break starter, you want to go to the center position and make him 7 feet tall, 247 pounds with a 7 foot 10 wingspan. The most important category is going to be your playmaking here, your pass accuracy. Put it to a 96 and upgrade it to a 92 attribute. Defensive stats, go ahead and go 77 interior, upgrade it to a 72. 58 perimeter defense, upgrade it to a 48. 70 steel, upgrade it to a 60. 93 block, upgrade it to 80. 87, 89 offensive rebound upgraded to a 72 and then your defensive rebound make it a 99 and upgraded to 83. Your physicals do a 67 speed upgraded to a 64. Don't touch your acceleration. Put 90 strength upgraded to an 80. 83 vertical upgrade to a 75 and 93 stam upgraded to a 94. Finally for your standing dunk you want to go 70 standing dunk and upgrade it to a 65. Driving dunk 75 and have it a 43. This is going to be the best center build that you want to use going into this event. Now, here are the insider tips and tricks on how to exactly win this event. This is a performance-based event, so you want to fill out your stat sheet. This is going to be scoring, getting assists, blocks, good defense attempts, etc. And all of that good stuff. I'm going to start out with the break starters, the center position, if you made that build that I mentioned earlier. You're going to want to wall yourself in the paint and go for a bunch of blocks, rebounds, and then pass it down the court to your guard that is cherry picking. All of my guards out there, it is very important that you cherry pick. Since people are going to be on 75 overalls and below, their stats won't be that good, badges will be low, and barely have any hot spots. So two on three defense will be pretty easy. For all the centers out there, you should aim to have seven assists a game with a couple of boards and maybe a block or two. You'll be up there on the leaderboards in no time if you complete this. Next up, for all of my guards out there, if you want to win this event, you're going to have to pass the pill and shoot your threes. Have a lockdown flare up out of the corner or back door for some easy assists. Maybe even your center can quick slip for the standing dunk. The threes are going to be easy, just get open on the PNR. With the 6'6 build and T-Mac base, it should be very easy for you to get threes and end the games quick. The main objective is to end all the games as quick as possible to get higher on the leaderboards. If you guys do want to watch me play this event live with my team, I will be live on twitch.tv forward slash iso ninja underscore for the majority of the servers so you can see how the number one top rep myself plays this event. I wish you guys the best of luck when going into the boot camp event. When I drop this video, there are going to be six servers left, so that is six golden opportunities for you to possibly unlock your unlimited playmaking boosts. If this video did help you out, drop a like and subscribe. It would help a lot for me going down the road. If you guys want more event style videos or have any questions, just let me know down below in the comments. I will respond as soon as possible. I'm gonna catch you on the next one though. I'm out.